here's how you're going to make new friends in 2024. And each of the tips I'm giving you is not only evidence-based, but it's timely. It's fitting for where we are right now, kind of culturally, okay? So the first is you're going to socialize your interests. Why is this important? Because the American Time Use Survey found that we used to spend six hours a week with our friends in 2013, pre-pandemic. But now that's dropped to a little more than two. And where did all that time go? We're spending it alone. The amount of hours we're spending alone on average has skyrocketed. So the first thing you're going to do is start socializing your interests. What are all the things that you've been doing by yourself that you could be doing with others? Cooking, crocheting, painting, reading, watching TV, uh, working out. How can you socialize your personal interest by just one degree and put yourself among others? The second is you need to get comfortable leveraging technology. Now, Gen Z is kind of leading the pack with this. They're very comfortable. The rest of us need to get there, okay? But Bumble for Friends, they even have this new plans feature where you don't even have to swipe. You can literally download Bumble for Friends. Boop, okay? Go to the button that says plans, click it, and it shows you all the things that are happening hosted by other people in your area. Now, if you want to be traditional and swipe as well, that's one way to expedite the process of finding your people, especially if you have unconventional work hours or you have very niche interests. Become a regular somewhere. We often say, oh, it was so much easier to make friends back when we were in school. Yeah, because you spent so many hours in a place saturated with your peers. Well, since we don't have that space anymore, we have to facilitate those opportunities for ourselves. And one of the things that was working before was those people were people we were exposed to all the time. And so it lent itself to something that's called the mere exposure effect, where you prefer something just because it's familiar. You're exposed to it all the time. So how can you, you know, take a walk around the park the same time every day when you work out, you're going to see the same faces because we're creatures of habit. How can you um, work from the same coffee shop, especially if you work remote, that's what's happening in 2024. Okay. A lot of us are working remote. Can you commit to working out of the same coffee shop every Friday morning, just for two hours, just to be among the same people? The next thing we're doing is we're going to enlist the help of super connectors. Those are those people who kind of like thrive on making introductions. So you know that girl who's always like, oh my gosh, Tiffany, you should meet my friend Maria. You guys would hit it off. That girl who like that girl, okay, who's everywhere. She always knows what's up. You're going to send her a script that says something like, hey, I'm trying to get more plugged in. And I thought of you because you were always out and about. And I thought you would be able to help me figure out like, are there any events around town worth checking out or da da da. Okay, the subtext here is that you're looking for new friends, but it feels a little less intense, right? You're saying I'm looking to get more plugged in or I'm trying to get more connected and I thought of you. Okay. But so many of us don't want to tell people we're looking for new connections because we're so afraid that we're going to look desperate. We're going to look cringe. Okay, you have all this research out there saying how many of us are, you know, lonely and looking to connect and looking for deep relationship. But you are not going to get your need met if you're too afraid to make the need known. And the last thing, talk to strangers. Oh, 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 I know. But there's a whole body of research that shows that we tend to greatly underestimate how much we'll enjoy talking to people we don't know. Now, I know this doesn't mean flagging down somebody random on the street, but do you understand how many times you're in spaces with people you don't know for an extended period of time? Waiting in line, standing side by side at the museum, waiting. At, there's so many times where it's not awkward to make a comment about your shared environment to this person in like a playful, like cool, calm, casual way and to have them be, you know, excited by it. This is who we are. We're connectors, so that's what we do. And if we get rejected and it doesn't go well, that's just a part of the game, but we're not gonna internalize it. Why? Because we're here to make new friends in 2024.